Hello, I'm Debs from Happy Balance and today we're going to be doing an arm workout. We're going to be working the shoulders, the biceps, the triceps, the backs of the arms and a little bit into your forearm as well. I'm going to be using two different sets of weights, 5 kilos which is around 11 pounds and 3 kilos which is around 6.6 .6 pounds. I'd recommend that you have two sets of weights as well. Uh, try and choose weights that you can comfortably manage five repetitions <laughs> and that you're not screaming after, after three or four and also that by the time you get further on in the repetitions your muscles are really starting to tell you that they're working. Don't make it too easy for yourself. Having said that, if you're a complete beginner and you just want to get used to the range of movement with your arms, etc., then you don't have to use weights at all. You know, just try it without weights and then go for weights. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Right, we're going to do a quick warm up and then we'll get started. Are you ready? Feet hip width, width apart. Just roll those shoulders forwards, up, back, and down. Just a big shoulder circle. Lovely. Now, big arm circle going backwards. Just really getting that shoulder joint moving. Other side. And then let's take it forwards. One more. And this side. Now feet tips together and back, together and back. Really open up the chest. Ah. One more after this one. That's lovely. Okay, reaching the arm over. Just open yourself up here and the other way. How does that feel? Now lift the arms up and just let them go, slight bend of the knee. Just loosen yourself up around your diaphragm. Okay. <laughs> now just twist. Just let the arms feel nice and loose. How are we doing? Shoulders up. Relax them down. Up and down. Arms up. Now just twist. Try to keep the hips still. And now just squeeze the arms back. Oh, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Hopefully, if you've had a bit of a tough day, this will really help to relax you and your shoulders. Okay, nice little, can I just let everything go floppy? <laughs> Alright, pick up your weights, your smallest weight to start with. So I'm going for these three kilo ones, so that's 6.6 .6 pounds. And what we're going to start with is a bicep curl. So the idea is that you keep your elbows tucked into your side so that your upper arms are stationary and then we just lift by bending the elbows, bringing the weight up and down. Try not to kind of just let it drop down, keep everything under control. So squeeze, okay so that's three, I'm going to do 12. Thought about, shouldn't I? Make sure I've got somebody to count for us. <laughs> That's six, seven, eight, nine. Really squeeze, keep those elbows tucked in. Standing nice and strong. Tummy in two, eleven, and twelve. How's that? All right, we're gonna take this into a shoulder press. So, arms up so your elbows are level with your shoulders. We're going to squeeze up, little pause at the top, 
and down again. So lift up and down. I'm going to do 12 of these, that's three. Squeeze. Now at first you might think, hmm, it's easy, you can easily do this, but it's surprising. The more we do, the more you should feel it. I think that's seven. <laughs> Probably shouting at me now. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. How's that? All right. What I'd like to do now is we're going to do a wide uh, bicep curl. So this time, arms are here, and we're going to do alternate ones. So instead of being here, we're out wide. So it's squeeze up, and up. Four. <laughs> now these are quite deceptive, because they look quite easy. But you're kind of hitting a different part of your bicep now. And I've completely lost count. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna love me, aren't you? Okay, that's 12 of kind of the singles, but we have to do another eight from here. How are we feeling? Now I'm really feeling this now. Ugh, again, lost track of the time. Let's just do two more, and I think we're good. How's that? Okay, put your weights down. So we're going to do that again, twice. How do you feel? Are you all right? So, just let your arms waggle about a little bit. So that's your first set, and we're going to do two more sets. Should we do it? Here we go. So we started with the bicep curl. So remember, arms, tucked into your sides, and then we squeeze. That's one. Okay, squeeze up. Remember, don't just let your arms drop. Halfway there. The other thing to remember as well, is to keep your wrist nice and straight in line with your forearm. Don't bend at the wrist. Don't break at the wrist. Okay. I think <laughs> that's 10. Oh, do you know, we're going to end up doing 20 of these, aren't we? One more. Squeeze. How's that? All right, into that shoulder press. So, arms up, shoulders in line with your elbows, squeezing up and pause. Two, I think I might have to count these out loud. <laughs> That's four. Or I need to employ a little person, don't I, to stay out of range of the camera and they can count for me. Oh, I'm going to say that's eight. <laughs> Such a professional. <laughs> One more, and that's our 12. How does that feel? Are we good? Okay, now we're going to do those wide bicep curls. Are we ready? Okay, feet apart, tummy tucked in, hands are wide. So, alter alternating, so that's one, two, three, four, five, Six, squeeze, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep breathing, eight, oh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, put your weights down. Grab some water, shake your arms around. Oh, how are we feeling? Oh, 
got one more set. All right, I'll give you a few more seconds. So this third set should feel a little tougher because we've already started to tire the biceps in particular. Your shoulders should be fine because they're much, much bigger and you know, you've got a little bit more room there. <laughs> but your biceps should be starting to feel it now. I hope so anyway. If they're not, you need to go up away, don't you? All right, are we ready? Okay, we're going to go into our third set now. So I'm going to pick up my heavier weights, the five kilogram ones, which is around 11 pounds. And that's because I just really, really want to challenge myself um, to, to go with the heavier weights, but you stick with what you're doing or you can, if you feel confident that you can manage it, why not have a go? And if halfway through you start to think, oh no, I can't do this, then just swap back to your lighter weights. Because remember, what we're trying to do is really challenge our muscles if, if we want to grow stronger. So, elbows tucked in. We're going to do those bicep curls. Feet apart, nice and strong, tummy tucked in. Big deep breath and we exhale on the effort. So as we lift, we breathe out and then we breathe in as we lower the weights. Here we go. Final 12 of this set. So squeeze. This definitely feels heavier. <laughs> That's four. So remember, try not to just let the arms go. Keep that tension in the arms. Here comes seven. Eight, nine, ten, two more. And then you've done it with these biceps curls on this set. Twelve, how does that feel? I know I keep asking you that. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the threes for the shoulder raise. So, are we ready? Okay, here we go. Elbows, remember, in line with your shoulders. We press up and down. Everything under control. You're in charge. Feeling strong. So that's four. <laughs> Five. Honestly, it will be worth it. So try and keep going. I think that's eight. <laughs> Please don't shout at me. Coming up to 10, 10, two more, 11, last one, 12. That's really great. All right, we're gonna do those, <coughs> excuse me, those wide bicep curls. So we do 24 of these because we want to do 12 on each arm. So tuck your forearm, your, your upper arms in, shoulders in, and then we squeeze. Now this one, I always keep the weight lighter because it's so much tougher than a normal bicep curl. Oh heck, I've been chatting. <laughs> no idea how many we've done. I'm going to say 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and we'll do that again. 2, 4, oh, 6, eight, ten, last two, and that's like this set done. Well done, put your weights down, grab a drink. And when I ask you to shake your arms, it's just to get the blood flowing back to those hands if you've been gripping a little bit too tight. So how are we feeling? Right, grab a drink, and we'll move on to the second set of exercises for, you, for your arms. Okay, so for our next exercise, we're going to do an overhead tricep extension, really working here into the backs of the arms. I can definitely help you get stronger here. I can't necessarily help with wrinkly elbows though. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna be working on, stronger triceps. So what I would recommend is that you take your heaviest weight um, out of the two sets of weights that you've got and then holding them one weight with both of your hands and really squeeze 
uh, to your palms towards one another so that you're squeezing there as well. Okay, tummy in, take the arm, arms overhead, keep your elbows close to your head, and then what we do, we slowly lower the weight down as far as you can go, like so, and then we squeeze the weight up for one. So slowly back, and then squeeze up. So keep these elbows back and tucked into your head. That's three, or oh, four. Now nobody likes to work their triceps. However, it's a really important area of your arm to work, especially if you're a little bit concerned about the appearance of your arms as well. So not only are we getting stronger, six, probably seven, <laughs> Seven, but you're really going to help your arms look more toned. Okay, this is nine. Keep squeezing that weight on either side with your hands. Ten, and then exhale on the effort here. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. Well done. <laughs> I hope you can feel that. Ooh, so just to emphasize, we're working this area here. Right now, we're going back to the triceps. So we're going to do something called a hammer curl. So back to your lighter weight. This time, the palms of your hands are facing inwards. Elbows are tucked in again. And what we're going to do is raise the weight up and down. Squeeze and down. So that's three, four, again, don't let that tension go, five, six, so don't kind of just go like that, you know, seven, keep that strength in the arms the whole way, eight, nine, how are we feeling? <laughs> 10, keep squeezing, 11, keep that resistance going, 12, and that's your last one. All right, shake it up. What we're going to do next is we're gonna take the weights here, keeping a slight bend on the elbows, and we're going to lift them to the side, leading with your elbows, so kind of like that, and then squeezing in the middle. Extra little squeeze here, really helps to work into your, into your chest muscles as well. So we're gonna be working the shoulders. Get nice, strong shoulders, nice shape on your shoulders. So again, using your lighter weights, feet hip width apart, slight bend of your knees, tummy in. Here we go, are we ready? So, one, two, exhale on the effort. Number five. Six, little squeeze. Seven, don't bring the weights too close to your body when they come back down. Nine. <laughs> 10, maybe if I say the number with confidence, you'll believe me. <laughs> 11 and 12. Okay, that's your first set. How do you feel? Hope you feel okay. So shake those arms again, grab some water, whatever you need. Just taking a little break before the next set. Honestly, if you're still with me, you're doing brilliantly and I hope you can feel this. So let's go back to that overhead tricep exten extension. So arms up, arms a little bit behind your ears and close, elbows in. Here we go, so lower down, and ooh, up we go. That's two, keep squeezing your hands together as if you're trying to crush this weight like a empty can of drink. I know you said a proprietary brand of drink then, I thought, ooh, better not do that. <laughs> 
I'm sorry you have to listen to my thoughts as we do this. Okay, this is number eight. Oh, this should, should feel tough, you know. Nine. Lower down and lower down. Think about your form the whole time. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Last one. You can do it. Ooh. Twelve. Okay. Let's put that down carefully. Now we're going to do those hammer curls. Remember this one where we lift here like this? All right. So, feet apart, tummy in. Big breath in. Here we go. One. Keep that tension in the arms the whole time. Never let that go. Three. Squeeze. Five. Honestly, I'm so proud of you if you're still with me. Oh, seven. However, don't worry if you've just managed to do two sets of the previous exercises because that is two sets more than you would have done and you should be really pleased with yourself. Okay, two more. I lost count, sorry. <laughs> and 12. All right, let's put these weights down. So we're nearly all the way through the second set. Let's go again. So this time, remember we're going to be working the shoulders. So holding the weights a little bit away from you, keeping that slight bend on the elbows. Big breath in, here we go. Exhale. Bring it in. Number four. Lift it up and squeeze down. Up. Here's seven. Eight. Oh, four more. Squeeze up and down. Okay, two more after this. Last one. That's your second set. Grab yourself a drink, shake out your arms. We'll just take a little break. And then the final set. So honestly, this is brilliant. Oh. So when you're ready, <coughs> excuse me. By the way, you don't have to keep up with me. If you want to go slower and not do 12 reps, that's absolutely fine. Whatever works for you, because I want you to be able to do this regularly. You know, um, any weight training, it's all about consistent effort. You won't get results in a week or two weeks. You will feel better for doing it in those two weeks, but it takes consistent effort to start to see real results and to start growing stronger. So please keep going with me. Don't give up and just know that you're doing such an amazing thing for your body right now. All right, here we go, overhead tricep extension. That's one. Keep squeezing the weight with both hands. Don't just let the weight drop behind your head, it's all under control. The secret of all of this is for it to be under your control. Okay, I think this is number six. <laughs> oh dear. Seven. Well, as long as we're doing extra and we're not taking shortcuts. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Check your form for this last one. Elbows in. Here we go. And squeeze up. Ah, oh, it's just brilliant. Well done. Oh. So we're going to go to the hammer curls. Let's go with those lighter weights, palms facing in, feet apart, tummy in, slight bend of your knees, just nice and strong, nice and strong stance. Here we go, exhale on the effort, one, keep those arms tucked in, two, three, four. Now today I'm teaching you really straightforward, simple 
exercises. But there are so many different ways that we could do these exercises. And as we go along together, I'll be introducing different workouts where we do different exercises in our 15, 20 minutes together and compound exercises so that we're really kind of hitting more than one muscle group at a time. I've got no idea how many, but we're going to do two more after this. <laughs> Please don't hate me. Okay, last one. Ooh, that's it, that's brilliant. Okay, hopefully you've really started to feel it in these, these biceps. All right, I'm gonna do that, the shoulder raise one. Are we ready? Because this is the last, is this our third set? Oh, I can't remember. Right, here we go. So, lifting up, leading with the elbows. Two, three, four, doesn't matter how much noise you're making at home, I'm quite a noisy breather, <laughs> I don't know what that means, <laughs> but just breathe out on the effort, however it works for you, I'm making that nine, ten, 11, last one, 12, oh yes, it's just fantastic, really, really well done, right, I'm going to check now to see if that was the second set, or whether it was the it was third, third. <laughs> oh, it sounds so crazy, how did I not know that, all right, I'm just going to finish with an exercise uh, that we can do that will just kind of work into our forearms a little bit. So, I want you to take your lighter dumbbell and I want you to hold it in front of you and, you know, squeezing both sides of it again. And all I want you to do is just twist, like so. Tongue's in, you're holding it in front of you and it might feel really easy to start with, but what I'm hoping is that after a little few repetitions that you'll really start to feel this in your forearms. Oh, I definitely can. <laughs> so we'll do a few more. How does it feel? Oh my goodness, it's really effective. Keep squeezing the weight again as if you're trying to crush the can and hold it there. How's that? Oh, do let me know, honestly, when you finish doing this, please put comments below the video letting me know how you found it, but also if it's at the right pace for you, whether you like music in the background or you prefer no music, whatever, I, you know, I'm just, I'd be so grateful for any feedback because these videos are for you and I want you to really use them to grow stronger and to feel fitter and healthier. And it is genuinely never too late to grow stronger and feel so much better. Right, let's do that again. So, just rotating the weight at the same time as squeezing each side of the weight. We're only going to do this for this set now. We're not going to do any more after this one. So this is your last exercise. And honestly, if you've kept going, then that is absolutely brilliant. And as I said earlier, even if you've just done a third of what we've done, that is fantastic too because you can build up to it. Oh, my forearms are screaming. I hope yours are too. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, I'm gonna count to four. One, two, ah, three, and four. Oh, that's it. You've done it. So, grab a drink 
I just want to take us through a few stretches. Okay, I just want to stretch you off a little bit. So we're just going to start by tapping the fingers, getting the fingertips to tap, to touch, like so, and squeeze back. Oh, really squeeze these arms back. That's lovely. Now, just clasp the fingers together and then squeeze away. Raising up. Oh, I should feel quite nice, you know. Lifting up and over. Lifting up and over. Ooh. Up. Down, up, keep squeezing. That's lovely. Okay. So, bringing your left arm across and just squeeze that in towards you so that you're stretching into the shoulder. Try not to lift the shoulders, keep them nice and relaxed. That's lovely. Other way, squeeze. Honestly, you should really be proud. Just a few shoulder circles, arm circles. Other way. And let's bring that forward. Ooh. How do you feel? I hope you feel really good. Now it might be that you don't feel much of an after effect with this until tomorrow. <laughs> So shoulder circles. Oh, it's lovely. And I think we'll just leave it there. Nothing too intense, just nice and gentle. Honestly, I'm so I'm genuinely so proud that you've done that. And I hope it's given you a nice little introduction as to exercises that you can do that'll really help get your strength back in your arms and get that tone. So shoulders, biceps, triceps, and a little bit of forearm. And tomorrow, going about your day, you might think, oh my goodness, particularly triceps, that's where I usually feel it the most. So let me know, honestly, comment. I can take it, no matter what you want to say, but please be kind. <laughs> All right, until the next time I see you, you take care. All right, bye.